find the regression equation for the following data set. So you are given a data set beta and they're asking you to go ahead and find the regression equation. Pretty simple question. So we know the formulas already. So we have, uh, so when I write yi is equal to b1 plus b2 xi, we know that b2 is summation xi yi by summation xi square. And we know that b1 is y bar minus b2 x bar. So the first thing that we have to do is we have to go ahead and we have to find xi yi's. And xi will be xi minus x bar and yi will be yi minus y bar. Right? So try to see this thing. This is your x. When all x's are added together, it is giving you, uh, and you find the mean, mean is 15.6. The mean of y is coming as 79.7. Then I go ahead and I find x minus x bar, right? Please try to go ahead and verify this thing better. You try to go ahead and you find out x minus x bar. So <clears throat> when we do 17 minus 15.6, it gives you 1.4. 13 minus 15.6, it gives you minus 2.6. 12 minus 15.6 minus 3.6. And these are all the small xi's that you have. Please verify this thing, huh? So this will be small xi. Similarly, we go ahead and we find out small yi. This will be yi minus yi bar. So your yi is 94, and the mean that has been that came out was 79.7. So 94 minus 79.7 will go ahead and give you 14.3. So this is the first one. And then we have 73 minus 79.7. This will be minus 6.7. And then we have 59 minus 79.7. And this will be minus 20.7. And then this is the complete line of small yi's. Now, once you have got your xi's and yi's, what you need to do is you need to find out xi into yi. That means you need to go ahead and you need to multiply them together. So this is what the next column goes ahead and does. So if you just go ahead and you look into it, it will be 1.4 into 14.3, 20.02. Minus 2.6 into minus 6.7, 17.42. 3.6 into 20.7, 74.42. Okay, I just verified the three terms. Please verify them together again, beta. Okay. Okay. So these will be when you go ahead and multiply them xi's and yi's together. And then you can just go ahead and add these xi's and yi's together. Similarly, if you notice here, this is xi, this xi squared, right? So, mine, uh, so this is 1.4 squared, 1.96, minus 2.6 squared, 6.76, minus 3.6 squared, 12.96. And again, you will just get a sum here. So when you do the summation of all these xi's, yi's, uh, summation xi, yi, you will get 13136.8 here. And when you will be adding all summation xi square, you will be getting 42.4 here, right? So when you will be dividing it, you will get the answer as 3.2. You will get the answer as 3.2. So then you can go ahead and find out your B1 also. This is B2. So your B1 will be y bar minus b2 x bar. So the mean of y is 79.7 minus 3.2. The mean of x is 15.6. And when you will go ahead and solve that, I've done it somewhere here, you will get the answer as 29.78. You will get the answer as 29.78. So therefore, the regression equation that will be formed, it will be 20, it will be y is equal to 29.78 plus 3.2. This is a plus 3.2 xi and this will be your regression equation. So that's the first step that we have done. This is my regression equation. Now, suppose in the question itself, they would have told you that find the value of y when xi is 15. Suppose they would have told you that yi represents the sale of camera and xi represents the price of camera. Find the sale of the camera when price is 15. They would have given you a value of this. 
So you have already found out the regression equation. Now, instead of Xi, you would have just plugged in the value 15 and then you would have got the answer. So 3.2 into 15 is 48 plus 29.78. This is going to be 77.78 and this will be the answer. And this will be your sales that you will be getting. Am I clear with it? Okay, so now the next thing is, suppose in the same question, they ask you to find out that, find out R, right? Find out R. So the formula for R will be summation xi yi upon summation xi square under root, summation yi square under root. This will be the formula for your R, right? So here, suppose they ask you to find out R, so this is the formula for R. So we have already found out summation xi yi. We already found out summation xi yi. We have already found out summation xi square. We have already found out summation xi square. Now what we need to do is we need to find out summation yi square, right? So here in the same equation, you will go ahead and you will just... Go ahead and say yi minus y bar whole square. This will be yi square. And what you will be doing is you will be just going ahead and squaring this, this term up, right? So 14.3 into 14.3, this will be 204.49. So minus 6.7 into minus 6.7, this will be 44.89. So 20... 0.7 into 20.7, this will be 428.49. Just fill this up. So when you will be doing summation yi square, then that will be giving you the uh, the term as 101206.1, right? So then your R will be, you have already found out summation xi yi. You have already found out summation xi square. This is summation yi square under root and when you will be finding the value you will get the answer as 0 0.596 suppose someone asks you also interpret r so we can say that 59.6 percent of the variation in y can be explained oh not r this is r this is not r square sorry let's interpret r first so first to try to understand that the sign of R will be positive here. This is positive, right? And this is approximately 0 0.60. 0 0.596 is 0 0.60. So because R is approximately 0 0.60, so we can go ahead and we can say that there is a positive relation between X and Y. But it is not very strong. Huh? It's just 0.60. It is not high. So it is a medium positive relation. It's not very strong. It would have been very strong had it been more than say 0 0.80. Right? Some books give the value as 0 0.70. More than 70, they say it's a strong relation. So strong positive relation. So here we see that the R value is only 0 0.596, 0 0.596. So we will say that there is a there is a positive relation between x and y, but it's a medium positive relation, not very strong positive relation. And then what you can go ahead and do better is that you can find r squared from here. Again, some things will become clear as you move through different chapters of econometrics. Then things will make more sense for interpretation purpose. But just to solve this question, I am doing this. So, when you will be solving this now, when you will be squaring this up, you will get this as 0 0.355216. So, then we can say that R square is coming as this. And R square tells me how much variation in Y can be explained due to variation in X. So, we can say that 35.52% of variation in Y can be explained due to variation in x. So x can explain 35% of variation in y. Okay, now suppose they ask you find out the standard error of regression, right? 
सो द स्टैंडर्ड एरर ऑफ रिग्रेशन इज नथिंग बट द स्टैंडर्ड डिविएशन ऑफ वाई and because this is a sample so instead of dividing it with n <coughs> i am dividing it with n minus 1 so there are 10 observation so i am dividing by 9 so if you notice here the standard deviation of y will be summation y i minus y bar whole square divided by n minus 1 under root right and just notice here that here you will get this term as 11.576 suppose they also ask to find the standard deviation of x so nothing to worry it will be summation xi minus x bar whole square divided by n minus 1 again i am taking the denominator as n minus 1 because of the same reason that it is a sample and therefore it must be divided by n minus 1 so here i am dividing 42.4 by 9 and i am getting the answer as 2.171 right also sometimes you don't really need to go ahead and use this formula to find the value of b2 this slope coefficient has another formula to it and the formula of slope coefficient is r into sy by sx so you can just go ahead and verify through this formula and you will notice that you will get the same thing of course because decimals are involved you get approximately equal answer but you will get equal answer only here you are getting 3.17 and there i think you were getting approximately 3.2 because of the involvement of the decimals ha huh? yahan pe aapke decimals involved hai na so there is some upar niche thoda decimal ho jata hai so but the value of uh, the slope coefficient can also be written as r into sy divided by sx right so this will give you the answer as again the value of slope coefficient right and then this is the regression equation we have estimated so this is a full fledged question which helps you understand how to go ahead and how to find the value of slope coefficient standard deviation of y standard deviation of x r and r square right beta okay